attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal and Compliance, a full service corporate securities and business transactions law firm. Today is the continuation in a LawCast series detailing testing the waters when conducting an offering using Form S-1. The pre-filing period is that time frame between the decision to proceed with a public offering and the actual filing of a registration statement with the SEC. A safe harbor has been established such that communications made more than 30 days prior to the filing of a registration statement will not result in Section 5 gun jumping violations. The Jobs Act amended Section 2 of the Securities Act to eliminate restrictions on publish publishing analyst research and communications while IPOs are underway. Under prior law, research reports by analysts, especially those participating in an underwriting of securities of a company, could be deemed to be offers under the Securities Act and, as a result, could not be issued prior to the completion of an offering. Section 2A3 of the Securities Act, as amended by Section 105A of the Jobs Act, provides that publication or distribution by a broker or dealer of a research report about an emerging growth company that is the subject of a proposed public offering of its securities does not constitute an offer of securities even if the broker or dealer that publishes the research is participating or will participate as an underwriter in the offering. Moreover, the term researched is defined broadly as any information, opinion, or recommendation about a company and includes oral as well as written and electronic communications. This research need not be accompanied by a full prospectus and need not provide information reasonably sufficient upon which to base an investment decision. The research need not even be consistent with the prospectus if there is one. In other words, research providers are free to say just about anything they wish about an IPO candidate, limited only, of course, by the general anti-fraud rules. Section 105B of the Jobs Act eliminated existing restrictions on publishing research following an IPO or around the time the IPO lockup period expires or is released with respect to emerging growth companies. Prior to the Jobs Act, under SEC and FINRA rules, underwriters of an IPO could not publish, publish research for 25 days after the offering or 40 days if they served as a manager or co-manager. That quiet period is 10 days for secondary offerings. Also, managers or co-managers could not publish research within 15 days prior to or after the release or expiration of the IPO lockup agreements, so-called booster shot reports. In 2015, FINRA further amended its rules related to broker-dealer research surrounding an IPO, reducing the 40-day and 25-day IPO quiet periods with respect to all other issuers, not just emerging growth companies, to 10 days for an IPO and three days for a secondary offering. I'm securities attorney Laura Anthony, founding partner of Legal End Compliance and producer of LawCast. Should you have any questions about today's topic, please visit securitieslawblog.com and lawcast.com or contact me directly. Inquiries of a technical nature are always encouraged.